Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm just reviewing the Morphe Power Station Mini. So this is a portable battery bank uh, with USB-C and USB Type A uh, ports. So it's, it is, it's only a small battery bank um, around 5000 uh, milliamps. So it won't, uh, it's not huge and won't you know do your laptops and things like this but I got this as uh, when I upgraded my mobile phone contract uh, they gave me this uh, for a special offer. I believe in the UK it's uh, still around £39, so it's not cheap. Um, but they're, they're actually trying to say this is um, more of a premium um, power bank because it's got like a fabric uh, material on the top and also it comes with uh, two years warranty. So as you can see here, the packaging, as we expect for a premium product, is rather nice. So you've got like a an embossed kind of... Uh, and raised text on, on the actual box. And as we see here, it says it's USB type C input and output. So that's meaning that you can charge it by USB C port. Um, and also you can charge things uh, with the USB C port as well. So you can charge the battery bank. Your uh, dual USBs, we said, so it's got USB type A and C. And it does say here it's got plus 18 hours of battery. So it depends on the actual device and everything else that you're charging. So as we can see here, you've got there around, it's saying uh, 18 hours for a smartphone, uh, six hours for a small tablet, and four hours for a large tablet. As we said here, it's, you've got a little display here. Uh, the graphic has shown you the USB-C and the USB Type-A. So again, it's just going over the same information. The only extra bit now we've got is like, it does have an LED power indicator, so you can push the button and it show you um, on the LED uh, how much battery is left in your power bank and also um, durable fabric finish um, so it's got like a fabric finish on it um, that's supposed to give it a bit more style and everything else and probably grip as well so we'll have a look at that and as we said here it does uh, have a 5000 milliamp uh, battery within the power bank so uh, yeah so uh, let's have a quick look at it as I said I did get this on a special offer um, so I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, so you can see the packaging is rather nice, uh, the layout and everything. So you do expect that for a premium product. So this is where the material is. As you can see, it's on the uh, f on the back and on the front. Uh, it's got like a textured material. So that is quite nice. Um, so and to hold and to grip as well. So you've got like a also a very uh, premium feel on the actual product. Underneath you have probably a, a tiny little uh, USB type A to C cable so that's probably for charging and the other way around um, and also you have the actual instructions here as well where it gives you the breakdown I think it goes through other models as well so that's why the pamphlet is uh, uh, quite big other than that I think that's the uh, packaging is quite strong to hold it uh, to protect it as being a battery when it's going through uh, the post and everything else the uh, charging cable is probably um, <laughs> it's not very big um, so I'll put the measurement on the screen but it's uh, as you can see here compared to my mobile phone but again if you're charging something quite close you don't want a big long uh, cable anyway so that's perfect for it so as I said um, it's quite straightforward it's got like in Boston in the back here uh, 5000 milliamp and it has the uh, CE standards and the others around the world um, also up here it has the, the uh, little lightning and then also the uh, charge as well so as you can see here uh, you can only charge the power bank by the type c port uh, the type 8 is only for output but this one is input and output and um, this one is uh, just output so as you can see here it does have uh, morphe has their logo embossed on there and this is where you can actually switch on the power bank and also check the uh, actual power bank how much uh, power is left in there. So you can see I've got two LEDs lighting up. So it is a premium fill and it's very thin and light as well. I believe it's about 130 grams. Um, so the dimensions of this is around uh, 69 uh, by 130 by 10.8 millimeters. So it is very tiny and you can probably put that in your pocket of your coat or even your jeans. So um, it is very lightweight and very good. And again, it's for 5,000 milliamps.
So I just wanted to have a quick look to see what the output would be. So as you know, I've got my little uh, device um, that I normally plug in uh, just to see what, what output we can get uh, from them because sometimes um, it can fluctuate and everything else. So we'll try the uh, type A uh, port here. So we just plug this my device in there and then we can plug the output here. And then we'll try and uh, charge my, so this is my uh, Pixel phone. Um, so we'll try and uh, actually charge this one here. And it's only at 36% uh, uh, my phone. So it should try and uh, give the uh, strongest charge. So you see it doesn't charge straight away. So you do have to hold this down for three seconds when you've got something plugged in. And then it should switch on the actual um, battery bank. So as you can see here, it's uh, it's actually coming through now. So as you can see, I'll just do a bit closer for you. So currently outputting is uh, five volts at 1.42 uh, or 4.3 uh, uh, volt amps. Sorry. So you can see here, and this is the USB Type A port. So we are getting five volts um, and a steady 1.43 amps. So as you can see there, it's um, you know, you're getting enough juice out there to actually uh, charge your phone. Probably large tablets, uh, small tablets might be okay, but large tablets are going to take uh, quite a long time uh, using the USB Type um, A port here. That's charging my uh, this is a Pixel 4 um, phone. So it gives you an idea of what the output is on here. So if we can then just have a quick look to see. So I just unplug this, and then we'll try the. Uh, just uh, give you an idea, we'll try the USB type C port. So now moving on, as we said, I had to swap the cable out um, so we can get try out the USB type C port to see what kind of uh, wattage and amp we're getting. Um, so we'll just have a look here. So as you can see here, we're getting around 4.7, it will probably gradually go up around 4.78 volts and it's 2.41 amps. So you can see here it's it probably again, like I said, it does depend on your device that's actually um, you're using that will draw probably might be able to draw more um, amps and volts, but it seems to be quite a steady on here and it'll probably gradually go up um, on the actual device. So as you can see here, it's gradually going up as it's charging the device. So it's not slow uh, by any means. Um, when charging the device and everything else as you can see here um, so yeah so overall the it is a um, you'll probably see a lot more cheaper um, battery banks especially for 5000 milliamps but if you're looking for something that's thin made by a good quality company a brand name and does have a premium feel to it um, you really can't go wrong to be honest compared to some of the others you probably like I said you can get some that are probably half the price but then again do you get the actual ampage that they're saying that you get um, and this one um, I do believe that perhaps you know I will try it out later on leave in the description if there's anything on there when I try out if it is actually got 5000 milliamps in there and everything else but again um, yeah I think it is uh, even though I got it on special offer so it's definitely worth it so it's up to you if you prefer but again as I said for safety reasons and everything else and premium feel and light and everything else you can't go wrong with this uh, Morphe Power Bank Mini. Okay, so I uh, hope you found this uh, review uh, helpful. And again, if you've got any comments, leave them uh, or questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.